I say the name Delino DeShields Jr., I think most people remember your father's name. Yeah. Um, and remember watching your dad grow up. For people in Cleveland, what has it been like to grow up under the shadow or having a father that was a former big leaguer? It was an extreme blessing having somebody to kind of walk me through and take me through the steps of what it takes to be a big leaguer or something that, you know, at a young age, I didn't take for granted. What's it like when you get that phone call? Because I got to tell you, Cleveland, Ohio is a football crazy town. They love their Indians too, and they're yeah. love you. It was a Sunday morning when we started hearing about all the trade stuff, Corey Kluber going, and then your name pops up. Yeah, I woke up what, Monday morning and I had a couple missed calls from my agent, a couple missed calls from my GM. I actually woke up initially like, oh snap, we got Corey Kluber. <laughs> and then <laughs> as I was looking through my feed and I saw all these missed calls and I was like, I know I'm in this. Tribe Fest is this weekend. I really just wanted to come out here early and, and really kind of embrace the city. Um, you know, I didn't want to just pop up and, and leave. Um, I really wanted to get a feel, um, you know, meet, meet the community. The type of player that you are for people that haven't watched and how do you think you fit in? The Indians have had many winning seasons over the last five seasons and they're trying to get over that hump. Yeah. What do you feel like you can bring to help get over that hump to, to make a parade down these streets that we've walked? <laughs> well, I've always believed that I'm a winning player. I always play to win. And when I play to win, and I'm in a winning environment, I think the, really, the best really comes out of me. Congratulations on becoming a Cleveland Indian. Thank, thank you for you. taking the time out. Yeah, we thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. it. Yes, sir.